Hello, this is Chris from Platec, and on this video we are going to learn how to add a quote request to the store of our site using the YITH WooCommerce Request a, Co a Quote plugin and the WooCommerce plugins. To do that, we need to go over to the left where it says plugins. We are going to click on Add New, and on the plugin search bar, we are going to type YITH Quote. And this is the one we are going to use. Why it is good camera request a quote? This plugin lets the customer ask for an estimate. Let your customer ask for an estimate for a list of good camera pros they are interested in. So in a sense, it will allow us to create a list and ask for an estimated price and let us bargain a little bit. So we are going to click on install now and then we are going to click on activate. There we go. Now we are going to the left bar once again and it says YATH. We are going to click on request a quote. And we have some settings, request a quote channel settings, the request quota page. Here we can select the page, but the plugin creates a default one. And for the button type, we can use a button or a link to the page. We are going to leave the button and the text for the button on link. We can change it here. We can make the at button hide. So only quotes could be asked and for the page layout we can show the form under the quote list or show the form next to the quote list and for the form setting we can add a privacy policy and we can request a quote privacy policy label change it here and here we can request a quote privacy policy we can change it here and you can a, use the show code terms and privacy policy from WooCommerce 3 on 4 C. So we are going to save the changes by clicking on save changes on the lower left. And now we are going to go to the store and go to products to see how the add to code work. So now we don't have the add to car button as you can see. So we are going to click on a product and here we have a new options add it to quote. So we click on that and the product has been added to the quote list. And if we cl click on rows list, it will take us to the request a quote page. And here we have the product added. We can update the list and we can send a request. We have the name, the email and the message for our request and the personal data, the terms and conditions of the privacy policy. So we are going to click here and we can send our request as well. So that's it. We have learned how to add the possibility to request a quote on the products of our store using the YITH WooCommerce request a, quest, request a quote plugin and the WooCommerce plugin in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on the site. See you the next time on Palitech.